What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a few days now since track and I've just been taking some time off to really catch up with my sleep and I am fully energized now. But don't get me wrong, I was still out here in the garage, I was still cleaning, I was finding stuff to sell, I was just kind of planning for what 2020 has in store for me and um, I think this year has been great so far. If you guys haven't seen the last video of the squad cars going down the track, be sure to go back and check it out. Now, before I get into what we're going to be doing today in this video, I want to talk about this a little bit. Now, track days, race days are unpredictable. Nobody likes a shitty track day, but just remember that the day is still in your hands. So it's up to you to determine if you want to make the rest of the day great or not. Now, every car that came out with us to the track, we all did have a set goal, but you know, sometimes things don't go the way we plan. But at the end of the day, we still made it a great day. Both Integra DB1 owners had a great time being able to experience their first time going down the strip. The EJ1 broke a personal best twice in one day. The DSM was able to make it down the track for the very first time without breaking anything, so I guess that would be a win in the books. The black BMW definitely had a great time going down the track for the very first time, and uh, <laughs> he's already looking for slicks. Joe's wagon hit a personal best as well too, but we had some issues with the shift linkage and uh, something click clacking inside the car that we kind of cut the drag time for the car that day just so he could make it home. And then you have my car. I spun the living hell out of my clutch. Which brings us to today's video, we're going to be working on the wagon. Now the clutch in my car, I spun it the first pass, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, all wheel drive, and the clutch, the clutch, <laughs> it spun before we'd even started. I let the car cool down, I drove a couple of the other guys' car, came back, drove my car, spun the clutch again, second, third, and fourth gear, and by that time, I was like, we're done for the day. But I was super stoked that the car was able to do so. The fact that I only bought the car to really test the all-wheel drive drivetrain and conversion. And I must tell you, it's holding up great. The clutch that I'm currently running in this car is an Action Stage 3 six-putt clutch. And the reason why I went with Action is because they have a cover over their springs. And the reason why I wanted a sprung disc is because I drove this car daily at the time. And I wanted to make sure that the springs weren't going to break out of its seat. Like most clutches in the market where the spring is visible on the clutch, Action has a full shield over it to ensure that they're not going to break out. When the car is front-wheel drive, 400 horsepower, 275 pounds of torque, the car held up great. But when I went all-wheel drive, the load from the all-wheel drive system to the clutch gave it no chance. So this right here, guys, is an Exedi twin disc, which I can't cut with this. But uh, yeah, um, this is a twin disc from my buddy Rodney. If you guys remember a while back, we did the Speed Factory radiator install. And uh, his payment to me was this twin disc. And it looks like it's in very great condition. So I am going to use this, which I am sure is a lot better than the uh, six puck. Made in Japan. Who doesn't like stuff made in Japan? Especially parts for a Honda. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart real quick kind of show you guys the disc and check out the life for myself Because I've never really like taken this apart to know uh, how much life is left in it But I think at the end of the day two discs is better than one for the all-wheel drive setup. So uh, Go ahead and take all this apart real quick Squad <laughs> Go big or go home, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, I eat So first plate First disc. Oh, these are six pucks. Um, I don't know. It looks more meteor on one side than the other side. Huh. Oh my god, how many plates are in here? Oh, this has got a lot more meat in it. That's good. Focus. Uh, 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 uh. And why is he so short? AT, automatic trans? What? They don't even reach to the other sides. I'm not gonna use any of these guys. Giant box for a freaking throw bearing. Made in Japan. 
So my cousin just pulled up right now, guys, and he is going to be changing his AC condenser because his has a leak. I'm not going to show you guys the full process of this. I'm just going to show you guys the before, in between, and after. Step one, jack your car up. Step 97, remove turbo manifold. Oh yeah. Step 119, drain your fluid. And if you're a cheap bastard like me, I'll use a clean container with a filter because I'm gonna reuse my fluids. Step 1738, remove the dry shaft bolts. What I find super weird is that these bolts were loose taking them out and I did use red Loctite on them I did have the same issue with my CRX though but um, I just want to show you guys this real quick I did do a little turn down exhaust right there with a three bolt flange so I could remove that to build the exhaust when I have time to do so but uh, this is what I was using at the track and you know I kind of feel ballsy I might just leave it there I'm not sure but um, if it came down to it I'm just gonna do a full three inch exhaust and then I'm gonna do a Y pipe but uh, that'll come when I do have the time to build the exhaust system or material to build the new exhaust system. Step 1800, remove axle. Step 1 million, remove transmission. Oh, the leak. Guys, my goodness. Action stage three, six puck, um, destroyed. Pretty much <laughs> look at this it didn't just slip it literally destroyed all of the pucks front to back now don't get me wrong action clutch is a great company this thing held 400 plus horsepower 270 plus torque uh without a single issue when the car was front wheel drive but now that the car is all wheel drive literally this was the first hit on the track and uh it spun not only did it spin the clutch it warped the pressure plate and also warped the uh, act flywheel as well too so this clutch is trash. Damn it. <laughs> Guys, this thing got destroyed as well. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I have another one. No way. This is the pilot bushing. Are you kidding me? Shoot. But I know I've seen it somewhere before. <laughs> my replacement part you see it's nice to have extra parts lying around every now and then so look at that hell yeah guys it is very important to torque down your clutch bolts i just did um the flywheel bolts like 80 or 82 something like that forgot and then the uh bolts to the cover here i did 25 because that's what i did for my twin disc on the competition clutch and i red lock tight them all just to ensure we're not going to have any issues because this transmission job is uh is complicated because that thing back there that transfer case it makes the transmission a lot heavier so now now we are ready to reinstall everything so i'm just going to go ahead and knock that out because that is a little tricky that is a little tricky and uh i'm just trying to get this shit done <laughs> almost forgot need to change out my throttle bearing as well too oh what this whole damn time well another spare one more look one more look before we seal this transmission to the clutch Ooh. hey what time is it 11:49. 11:49. Just like the other night, it was like 11:48. The birds started chirping. I know. Thank you. It's time to close up. I get it. The lights blinding your eyes, right? Yeah. See, he said yes. So, guys, I did finish up the car. It's right here. I already drove it around the block. Don't worry. We're gonna continue this video tomorrow, and uh, I'm probably gonna do some other small little knickknacks with the car. But definitely gonna show you guys um, driving this car around. And I must tell you, this clutch, whew, right off the floor, and it grabs really hard. So, see you guys tomorrow. So much for launches today. 
Who knew today was going to rain? Because I didn't. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess, I guess I'm just going to be sitting in and watching Jurassic World. Alright, so I've already watched two movies. I watched Jurassic World and I watched Hunger Games. And I'm getting too sucked up into uh, John Wick. So I think what I'm going to do um, right now... I'm not sure how far I'm going to get into it, but I want to try to test fit my old exhaust system by just chopping it up and see what I can make of it. Thermal R&D exhaust system with a vibrant ultra quiet resonator. I don't think I have any space underneath the car for the resonator, so I'm just going to remove that and then just kind of piece it together to get this to go to the back of the car. Obviously, the drive shafts are in the way now, so... Um, I think I need more of a straight 3 inch instead of uh, all these miscellaneous bends. But like I said, I'm going to try to see how much I can get out of it. And then my buddy Paco has a full 3 inch exhaust system that was on his coupe that he's no longer using that I can take. So I'm going to back the car real quick. Just want to quickly say shout out to my buddy Chris. He gave me this thermal R&D exhaust system a very long time ago because he upgraded to i think three and a half or four and this is a full three inch had a shop install it made some ugly looking i don't know what the hell this is and also what the hell that is but this was moved from my sedan to my wagon from my wagon back to the sedan sedan back to it it, it, it was cut so many different times that's why it looks like this but this came out of a db8 and uh now i have the vibrant ultra quiet resonator with Burger welds. Okay guys, so I kind of missed the exhaust being on this car because the car with the K-Swap, turbo, open downpipe, it is really loud. Although I do love the way it sounds, I can't drive the car with it open like that. So I got my box right here centered on jack stands or at least one hanger there, two jack stands to get it nice and centered. And right now I'm just trying to figure out my bends that I'm going to need to uh, go underneath the subframe. If you guys know about the RT wagons, the uh, RT has the exhaust going through this little like tunnel right here. And typically EFs have them go over the LCA. But as you guys can see, we have the axle in the way. Can't really squeeze a three inch in between that. And um, I got to figure out how to go from here, there, and then go straight to the uh, downpipe all the way over there. So right now, Joe just hit me up. And uh, him and Kat are actually going on an adventure to check out something they are interested in buying. And so I'm probably going to clean up. They're going to pick me up right now. And we're going to head out. Brandon this one got all this money to throw in the here. QRV, man. He ain't got money to upgrade his lights. So I got Joe's light right here so we can see my damn stuff. So guys, we're out here with Joe, Kat, you know, the whole squad, Pig's house. And you see, what had happened was... Um, <laughs> what had happened was Homeboy here lost compression in cylinder one at the track and uh, Homeboy over there started crying. Look, cry baby ass, right? So Daniel came over here today. It's a week now um, from track and you know, they're looking at the cylinder walls. They're doing, you know, like hand palm compression test and it has compression so we know the rings aren't like leaking through. When they did a compression test at the track, it was zero, right? So then they flipped the head over and guess what they found? What are those? What are those? And you were over here crying to sleep. I want to sell my car. <laughs> but you know what that means though? It, 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 it's only... It's time to push 700 horsepower? What? No, you better chill the hell out. This you call your ass Man, all of a sudden he's happy. He's little, 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 too much white claw, bro. Too much white claw, bro. <laughs> Now he has a reason to do valve trains if he wanted to. Otherwise, we can get stock valves are pretty cheap. Change it out, put it back in a new gasket. Hey, gasket looked good. It didn't have like any blow by through any part of the um, the gasket itself, so that's awesome. But simple shit like this, like I said, racing is unpredictable, guys. You never know what's gonna happen. This car had how many miles before the dyno? Probably like two, three hundred. Two, three hundred miles. Dyno drove home, drove to the track. Everything was well up until the last pass. I think you did like three passes. Yeah. Then that happened. So, like I said, guys, don't get discouraged because 
little failure, little failures like this, you know what I'm saying? All you have to do is kind of take a step back, enjoy the day, and then when you have the time, when you get back home, tear it down, really diagnose what's going on with it. And the funniest part is these guys were so focused on the block that they didn't even see that. How'd you find that out? My tuner. He asked for a photo. You need a new tuner, bro. <laughs> I told my tuner, I was like, hey man, the block looked good, the sleeve looked good, the piston looked good, we got compression. He said, how does the head look? I was like, you know what, I didn't even look at it yet. So I, I lifted up the head, took a photo, sent it to him. As I sent him the photo, I looked at the photo I took, I was like, oh, I see the problem. So sure <laughs> do enough, we have a problem here, Ted? Sure we have a hole in the valve, do we? <laughs> yes, we do. So. Um, it's going to be down for a little bit guys, but not a big deal simple fix get everything all squared away The CRV will be back up and going so y'all stay posted right now We're waiting for the dude to become available and then we're gonna head out to show you what She's getting Eee not bad. That's my favorite hubcaps too. Damn that boy is clean Fucking I know this one guy Dana Ooh, Fucking You're known in the earphones. It's funny as hell because we pulled up right and I seen him and I was like I've seen this right guy before. Too, huh? I was like, wait a minute. So I don't know like how many years ago I pulled up to your store and I, my car was broken down and I was like trying to fucking figure out my car and you walked out and you were like, oh shit, I follow him. So we came to a conclusion. The car is going home tonight, but to budge a little bit on the price, the rack's coming off. That's a beautiful rack too, man. It's a big old basket. Man, I told Kat we can shoot like 10 foot fishing poles off of that. <laughs> what year was this? <laughs> It's a 90. 90 yeah, it's got the this car is definitely a project, but the most important thing is that the car turns on. Has a little hiccups here and there, but nothing we can't handle. The body's fairly clean. It was repainted the same color. No major body damages as far as I can see. The engine is fully rebuilt top to bottom, and it sounds awesome uh, for the amount of time that the car stays on. Um, he did watch the video. He did do the multi-point conversion, uh, exactly how I did it on the channel, but then the car went OBD1, and the only issue with the car is that it doesn't hold idle pretty much. Yeah, but other than that, we know the car sounds good, so... Um, she knows what she's getting herself into and all of this is You know, it's, it's a project. We're gonna figure it out. I'm um, trying to free up some space at the house We're gonna bring it over and uh, Start getting down with the wiring and the cool part is that when he did the conversion He did it really nice and clean so everything is easy for me to you know re pinpoint if I had to so he did it like this to make it ease of you know putting it back if I had to but um, Yeah, the interior super clean body just needs to be washed Door jam needs to be washed, sat for a little while. Um, interior just needs a little bit of cleaning. And aside from that, this is pretty much gonna be a new project for us. Or at least for Kat, cause- uh... Happy birthday, Kat. Oh, what? What in the world? That's how you get out of mud, man. Put them on your wagon. Yeah, My there goodness. you go, lift the wagon, put some of these on. Shit. He's got one already. Yeah. Joe, what, what did she say? Here. No, read it. Read it. I get a text message from Kat. And this is literally after we just picked up the wagon. Dropping Dana off at her as cousins. I get a text message that says, Babe, I think I'm sick. I'm like, oh shit. Uh-oh. Damn, Joe gotta go home. And then all I see is, I think I caught a case of the Honda Rona. <laughs> <laughs> the Honda Rona virus is something serious, y'all. You should have seen the smile after she drove it. Oh, guys, you gotta be watch out. Every time you guys see a Honda, you might catch the Honda. Uh, the Honda Rona. 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 Honda Rona virus. <laughs> <laughs> the Honda Rona virus. Uh, the boat bit her. Now she's got the virus. She got so we out here at my cousin's place. It's like nine o'clock right now. It's just chilling the rest of the night. Um, half the squad here. You know what I'm saying? Homeboy over here. Super pumped that he only has a valve that broke instead of a whole blown motor. Now he's all jolly and shit. Slide by my pad tomorrow, bro. I'll show you a little ride in the wagon, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
So I'm probably gonna have Joe get on the grill here because we're both super hungry. These guys already ate and uh, they told me it only takes 30 minutes to cook, so let's get cooking. Damn, 30 minutes later, they were in line. 30 minutes later. Hey, which one's the bigger one? I want it. That's you guys, both of My germs. I got ribs going right now. Oh, we got ribs too? I'll take some ribs. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shit first. that's good. Damn, is that Texas raw right there? People won't, some people won't even wait till you see the comments on that. Try This one time we went to a, it's one of our hot spots. You're a savage. You a savage. We went there, we went there like five in the morning. Damn, I don't. Fish there all. They ain't call you carnivore Jor for no reason. Some Laos dudes they came. Mm. Ooh, in. Hey, are you driving? You ain't driving. Told Joe driving. I didn't drive. I got dropped off. Somebody picked me up. I was a hooker around the corner. Hey, there's no warm alone. <laughs> hey, this is Lemon. Hey, somebody crack Dana a beer real quick. Yeah, get 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 up. Up. I am I driving. Make 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 that is a beer. Alone. This is the, the tequila. That's the same color as Coors. Oh, give him a Coors. Give him water. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is watermelon here. Oh, watermelon. <laughs> the watermelon. Right, don't knock it till you try it. Oh, you gotta try one. Just try one. Yeah, yeah. I read the comment section. You guys said you guys like the alcoholic static. Um, I'm not an alcoholic for one, but uh, <laughs> I am. What, what, yeah, I am. <laughs> when I'm around these guys, man, alcoholic. especially when they're drinking stuff like this, why did I get the limon for it? The lemon is one of the best ones, too. It's lime, bro. I like watermelon. Bro, it's just it's, uh, 5%. It's aged. Alcohol. <laughs> You fucking stupid! Clean this nigga real quick. Watermelon, man, this is the best. I'm not driving. All right, everybody got one. a great night. Let's cheers. We finally got him back, guys. Hey, guys, I'm open though. We finally got him back. It took one week. Bro, hold on, hold on. One week. We finally, we finally got him back, guys. I get back in the I'm back in business. One week. Oh my goodness, Tiger. All good. Hey, so see though. Private Tiger. She's my own. You gotta take <laughs> what you talking about, son? <laughs> what you talking about, some, son? You better put some sugar in that shit. Yeah, boy. Look <laughs> at <laughs> bloody wanker. She goes, I gotta get this wagon. Right. I got zero horsepower. She goes, that way I can beat you. I got zero. And right when she said that, I was like, oh, right. kill me. You got zero. You got zero. I was like, so you can beat me? She goes, no, 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 I'm just kidding. So so, so we can uh, we can both be fast. I was like, oh, first taste of it. Kill mode D. Now she's like, yeah. I just want her to have a nice, reliable, fast car. I'm expecting to get a good Cat's out to kill Joe with the new car. Watch.